Hello dear students, welcome back to Bio Vidyalaya. This is your educator Chitra and I hope you all are doing very well. Today in this lecture video we are going to discuss about pea protein or phloem protein. And uh, at the end of this lecture video we will discuss CSIR net part C question based on pea protein. So please try to watch this video till the end. And also if you are watching this channel for the first time then please do subscribe this channel and also please do watch our previous lecture videos. So without further delay let's get into today's class. So pea proteins are also known as phloem protein and uh, they are found in phloem. So pea protein found in large amounts in subconducting C elements of phloem tissue in angiosperm plants. So pea proteins are found in C elements of angiosperm plants. Okay. Pea proteins are usually found in the phloem of dicot plants or eudicots. This you have to remember. They are commonly found in dicot plants but very rarely reported in monocots. Okay. Pea proteins are very rare in monocot plants but it is commonly present in dicot plants. Pea proteins are completely absent in phloem of pteridophytes and gymnosperms. Pteridophytes means uh, fern like plants and gymnosperm means uh, seed producing plants. They are completely absent in phloem of pteridophytes and gymnosperms. Pea protein occur in different forms in different development stages of sieve 2. Pea protein can exist in sieve 2 as tubular, globular, fibrillar and crystalline form. We can see different forms of pea protein like tubular, globular, fibrillar and crystalline forms. Here you can see this is pea protein. Okay. So pea proteins are called the phloem protein. They are present in sea elements of angiosperms. They are commonly present in dicot plants and it is rarely found in monocot plants. They are completely absent in pteridophytes and gymnosperms and different forms of pea proteins like a tubular, globular, fibrillar and crystalline forms are present. Okay. So, in a completely mature C2 element, pea proteins are located mainly in the peripheral portion of the cytoplasm. That means near the inner side of the cell wall. Let's imagine that this is C2. So, here, uh, this pea protein C is found in peripheral portion of the cytoplasm. That means near the boundary of the cytoplasm. Okay. So, pea proteins are um, located mainly in the peripheral portion of the cytoplasm. Pea proteins are also called slime bodies. They are also known as slime bodies. One general property is its ability to form gel. They can form gel and it functions as a puncture repair substance. That means it is playing important role in damage control. They are acting as a puncture repair substance. So it will form a plaque at any site of damage in sieve element, thus preventing loss of food material being translocated by the phloem. Here you can see this is pea protein. Okay, so if any damage happens to sieve element, that time pea protein quickly aggregate. Here you can see that this is pea protein. This pea protein quickly aggregate into the C plate. Here this is C plate and here you can see that this pea protein quickly aggregate to the C plate and that will form a clot or that will form a plague and that will prevent the leakage of sap through this damage or that through this wound. Okay. Along with this uh, pea protein another molecule called callus. Callus is a polysaccharide that is also um, function as a puncture repair substance. That means that is also playing important role, role in damage control. Okay. So, um, this uh, pea protein acting as a puncture repair substance and that will form a plug 
at any site of damage in the sewer element thus preventing loss of wood material being translocated by the phloem. Example for pea protein PP1 that means phloem protein 1 and phloem protein 2. These are found in cucumber, watermelon, pumpkin etc. Okay. There are two types of pea protein, non-dispersive pea proteins and dispersive pea protein. Non-dispersive pea proteins are formed during early development stages of C2. And uh, once C element matures, C pores open and these proteins become active in translocation. And this non-dispersive pea protein remain as visible as large globular bodies within the C2. These uh, non-dispersive pea proteins are visible as large globular bodies okay and about 10 percentage of angiosperm species contain non-dispersive pea protein okay and uh, next is dispersive pea proteins dispersive pea proteins are also formed during early development stages of the c2 but when it matures it is converted into long fine fibers and 90% of the dicot of dicots of angiosperm possess dispersive pea protein. So 10% of angiosperm species contain non-dispersive pea protein, while 90% angiosperms are containing dispersive pea proteins. Okay, and this non-dispersive pea proteins can are visible as large globular bodies, and this after maturation, these dispersive pea proteins are converted into long fine fibers. Okay, I think this is clear for you. Now we can discuss one CSAR net part C question that is from CSAR net December 2018. So the question is C elements of phloem contain sugars and other organic materials throughout the plant. The following statements were made about characteristics of C elements in seed plants. Statement A, angiosperms contain C, uh, C plate pores. Statement B, there are no C plate in gymnosperm. Statement C, P protein is present in all eudicots and many monocots. Option D, there is no P protein in angiosperms. Which of the following is correct? Option A, B, C and D, option B, A, B and C, option C, A, B and D and option D, A, C and D. Combination type questions are very easy to solve and I will tell you how to answer um, this question very easily. Here we have to find which are the, uh, which of the following is correct, okay. We have to find the correct statement. For that, we have to find which statement is wrong which is incorrect statement okay so let's see which is incorrect statement see here the statement d is absolutely incorrect we studied that p proteins are largely present in angiosperm isn't it so we can say that this statement d is incorrect okay so see this options here in option a d is there so option a is not correct in option c d is there so option c is not correct in option d also a statement d is there so option d is also not correct so correct answer is option b a b and c so, correct statement are statement A, B and C. This is the easy way to answer combination type question. Okay. So, that is the easy way to answer combination type question. But here I will explain each statement. So, first statement. Statement A. Angiosperms contain C plate pores. This is correct. Because in our one of the lecture video that means phloem elements and functions we studied that phloem contains sieve 
elements there are two types of sieve elements sieve tube and uh, sieve cells there are two types of sieve elements sieve tube and sieve cell sieve tube is present in angiosperm and this sieve cell is present in gymnosperms and in sieve tube sieve plate is present sieve plate pore is present but in sieve cells sieve areas is present okay so our first statement is angiosperms contain sieve plate pores so this is correct next is statement b there are no sea plate in gymnosperm this is also correct we studied that in gymnosperms sea area is present so there is no sea plate in gymnosperm this is correct next is statement c p protein is present in all eudicots and many monocots now only we studied that p protein is present in all dicots that means the eudicots and it is rarely present in monocots so this statement c is also correct next is statement d there is no p protein in angiosperm we studied that p protein is largely present in angiosperm so statement d is incorrect so which of the following is correct option a b c and d b is correct c is correct but d is incorrect so option a is incorrect option b a is correct b is correct and c is also correct so option b is correct option c a is correct b is correct but d is not correct so option c is incorrect option d a is correct c is correct but d is not correct so option d is also incorrect so correct answer is option b a b and c okay so here i am winding up this video i hope this video will be helpful for you if it is helpful please share this video with your friends and also please subscribe our channel keep learning thank you